Okay. All right, well, have a good session, you guys. All right. Thank you, appreciate it. No. All right, everybody, so we will get started. So today we are going to take um, take our workout, workout, our, our yoga practice a little bit more um, standing, not so much. I will go into a kneeling lunge today. Um, if kneeling lunge is not good for you on the floor, you can do it in the chair as always. Um, if you can do it on the floor, but you have sensitive knees, you can get yourself a blanket or some type of towel to put underneath your knees to support you. Um, just to give you guys a heads up where we're going. As always, if you need a block or a strap, if you think you'll need that during class for any reason, like when we, we go to our finishing poses, um, please make sure you have them. They're always there and available for you, right? I'm gonna get a quick little drink here and then we'll get started. All righty. <clears throat> so let us begin sitting up nice and tall. So sitting towards the edge of your seat, planting your feet into the earth. So we want the toes to point forward. We want the shoulders to lift up and draw down the back. Hands resting on the lap or maybe down along your side. And so imagine that there's a string and it's running up the base of your spine all the way up to the top of the head. And it's pulling right at the spine. So the spine isn't here in your head, the spine is towards the back of your head. So feel that that part of the, of the, of the head is lifting. The chin actually tucks just slightly. And let your jaw be slack. Let your shoulders and your arms relax. And close your eyes. And find your breath. For some of us, finding our breath takes a little longer because we have to work through all of the fluctuations of the mind. We have to work through our body to find our breath. So how is your breath today? Does your breath feel balanced today? Does your breath feel a little off? Maybe the inhale, the exhale, it's a little harder to breathe today. Is one side of the nose a little bit more open than the other? Just little things to notice, little things to be aware of. And when we bring this awareness, we are just doing that. We're being aware, we're not judging. We're just noticing. Like, hmm, that's different today and it's okay. So as we feel how this breath is moving into our nose, into our body, without changing your breath, where is the breath in your body? Do you tend to feel your inhale and exhale mostly in your chest? Do you tend to feel the inhale and exhale mostly in the belly? Or do you feel it more even? in the chest and belly. Again, just notice, be aware, without the judgment. Now we'll consciously begin to breathe. We'll start to change our breath. And as we start to change our breath, the breath becomes longer. The breath becomes fuller. The breath might have a little bit more sound. As you start to take a deeper breath in, maybe we start to kind of create that diaphragmatic breath. So we breathe deeply into the belly, feel it rise into the ribs, feel it rise up into the top of the chest. 
When you exhale, feel the breath leave from the top of the chest into the ribs, and then the belly might gently soften. As we take this full diaphragmatic breath, we're allowing the breath to really move its way into all the systems of our body. We allow the breath to nourish us. Before any practice today or before any movement today, we're just gonna take a little bit of a breath exercise. So we're gonna find a balance to the breath. I'm gonna count your inhale, I'm gonna count your exhale. At a certain point, I'm gonna have you hold the breath at the top and maybe hold the breath at the bottom. So holding at the top of the inhale, holding at the bottom of the exhale. Just listen to the prompt, listen to the count. And if you're ahead of me or behind me, it's okay. Do the best you can. So take a big inhalation here. And everybody exhale, let it go. We're gonna begin a count together. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One more like this. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. We're gonna hold at the top. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One more. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Breathe naturally in our rhythm. And just notice how that felt for you. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. We're gonna start holding at the bottom. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold your breath, two three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. One more. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, Four, full breath, inhale. Exhale. So noticing how that felt. Was it different holding the breath at the bottom than it was holding at the top? Was it the same? Just kind of recognize and notice how that was. We're gonna take one more breath, one more counted breath. This time we're gonna hold at the top, hold at the bottom. So we're gonna find our rhythm. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Here's our hold. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three. Four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, 
three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. One more, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Let go and let breathe. Let yourself just breathe naturally, fully, completely. And just notice how you responded to that. How did it make you feel? And were there any benefits to that for you? So just let that sink in. Let yourself find that breath for balance, for ease, and let's begin our practice. Let the eyes gently open. Let the arms come down along the side body. Find your Tadasana, your mountain pose from seated position. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead, lift your gaze. As you exhale, hinge at your hips and slowly fold forward. Bringing your hands to your knees, inhale, look up for a little cobra. As you exhale, release to fold. Press down through your feet, inhale, rise, come back up to a full tall position. Exhale, let's bring the hands to the heart center and then down to the side. Inhale again, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Inhale, look up, open the heart, lift the head. Exhale, fold, wonderful. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring hands to the heart center. One more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. As you exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Hands on the knees. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Bring your hands down to your thigh. Good. We did this move a little bit uh, once, I think last week is when we did it. Scoot yourself to the right side of your chair. I better go to my left side. Switch, scoot yourself to the right side of your chair. Take your right leg and just reach it out like it's a kickstand. Keep your left foot on the floor. Right hand's gonna come to the outside of your right leg as you inhale, reach the left hand up. Feel the lengthening of your side body and then as you exhale, a gentle side bend to the right. Good. Breathe into the left side, the left lung, the left rib. Maybe the gaze can turn up at your left hand. If that bothers the neck, just look straight forward, it's okay. Take one more breath. As you inhale, start to lift straight up. As you exhale, bring the hand down, bring your foot back to center, and kind of scoot yourself now over to the left side. A little bit of movement and scooching today. Right leg is firm to the earth. We're going to take the left leg out to the side. So again, it's got that kickstand outward. Left hand comes onto the leg. Inhale the right hand up. Fully extend through the right hand and feel the whole side body. As you exhale, start to side bend down to your left. So now we're opening the right side, the right rib cage, the right lateral line. Breathing into the right lung. And again, maybe the gaze lifts. That bothers the neck. Again, maybe you're just looking straight forward. That's okay as well. Breathe deeply in. Breathe deeply out. Good. 
As you inhale, come right back up through center. Take your left leg, bring it back to center, and then scoot yourself back in. Good. Let's take that little cat-cow movement from the upper back that we did before. So interlace the fingers. We did this on Wednesday, if you were with me. You're gonna interlace the fingers, kind of making a cup with your hands, and you're just gonna bring the back of your head into that cup. I don't want you to pull your head forward. I want you to more just kind of keep your head just snugly into that cup. As you inhale, draw the elbows out and away, pulling the shoulder blades back. Look up. As you exhale, pull the, the elbows in towards each other. Feel the rounding into the upper back. Maybe the head tucks towards your chin. As you inhale again, open up the elbows, pull them back, pull them open, lift the gaze, feel the openness into the heart and the tops of the chest. As you exhale, start to pull the elbows together, feel the rounding in the upper back. Let's take one more of those as you inhale, lift the head, start to open the elbows. Elbows pull out to the side, shoulder blades squeeze, gaze looks up. As you exhale, we round. Elbows pull in, chin tucks to chest. There should be no pulling on the head. Might be a little bit of weight on your head for your hands, but there's no pulling. As you inhale, come on up and release your bind, release your hands. Awesome. Taking a little um, rotational twist here. So this is more like a, I don't know, um, a chair twist, if you were, we could test it with a twist. We're gonna modify it as we need to. So firm the, uh, firm the low belly, keep the feet really nice and planted. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start to kind of fold a little forward towards your legs. Okay, we're just kind of priming this, prepping this. Let your arms dangle, let your head dangle. Good. As you inhale, start to lift your arms up, lift your head up, lift your body up. So maybe you're about a little hinged forward. You're not completely upright, you're a little hinged forward. Feel some tension in the back and the belly, but that tension should not be painful. Gaze up between the hands. As you exhale, bring your hands to the heart center. We're going to do one of two things. You're going to take an exhale, cross your left arm to, over, your, over your knees and turn to the right. If you're able to, maybe you can hook your left knee, your left elbow on your right knee and then turn. You're just going to whatever degree is right for you and for your body. If this is still too much with the elbow on the knees, just come upright and twist this way. This is perfectly fine as well. Notice how you're feeling, notice what you're feeling and let that, self, let that steadiness sink in. One more breath. As you exhale, gently unwind, hands to the knees, and then let yourself cascade and fold forward. Let your back round, let your arms dangle, and just breathe into your back here. Good. As you inhale, let's go back into our chair pose. The arms reach up. The head looks up, we start to lift our body. We're hinged slightly forward. Again, tailbone tucks to protect your low back. Feet are really planted and rooted. Great. Good, exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Here's the rotation, here's the twist. So the uh, um, options are to take your right elbow, cross it to your left knee. Bring your arm across your legs, 
gently turn or even be more upright here if that feels better for your back. Again, whatever degree of rotation is best for you, for your back, for your body, please make sure you're there. Not going past our own edge, but recognizing where our edge is and being able to stay within there. One more breath. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly start to unwind. And again, let yourself fold and cascade over the legs. Release the head, release the arms, and breathe. Just all look amazing. Good, press down through your feet and inhale, start to rise. Release the shoulders down the back, awesome. At this point, I'd like to invite you to stand if you wanna to stand today for the remainder of class. As we said, we're gonna come up to standing. We're also gonna do a kneeling lunge today. So if a blanket or towel underneath is gonna better support you and your body, please go ahead and get yourself there. Find that towel, that blanket, and just have it off to the side for the moment. All right. Woo. Awesome. Great job. We're in for a fun one. So I'm going to try to, um, again, I'm going to go back and forth from seated to standing. We're going to go to our uh, down dog position. I want the seat of your chair to point towards you from a standing position. Make sure that your chair isn't gonna slide away from you. So bring it onto your mat and make sure it's on a floor where it's not gonna slip away from you. Good. So let's inhale here, reach the arms up overhead, lift the gaze. As you exhale, hinge and fold forward. If you're seated, you might need a second chair here or maybe you can just stand up for this, just a little bit of this portion. Inhale, gaze up. As you exhale, hands plant to the seat of the chair, step your feet back, going into our downward do facing dog. The hands on the chair and the seat of the chair allows a little bit more for that V shape. So feel your body kind of moving into a V shape. Plant the heels down as best as you can and maybe extend the lift up through the tailbone. Extend the arms forward and the head might come in line with your ears. So if you're seated, you're doing the position, but you might be more of in a folded position with your belly on your legs, your arms reaching outward. One more breath here. As you inhale, you're gonna straighten your body out to plank. So as you inhale, you're gonna come forward Level the hips, level the body. If you're in the chair, your plank is gonna look more like this. You went from this position, and now you're gonna sit up tall. You're gonna press your hands straight out, engage your core. One more breath. As you exhale, find your down dog position. So down dog on the chair today is gonna to be here. If you're standing, again, you're in that inverted V shape or somewhat of an inverted V shape. We're gonna do this two more times just because it's fun. Always my definition of fun. <laughs> Good. As you inhale again, come forward, find your plank. So plank, hips come down. We level the body, straight line from the head to the feet. Tuck your tailbone, close the space between your ribs and your hip bone. Remember if you're seated, the hands are reaching straight forward and you're engaging. As if you're pressing on the floor. Good, exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. 
A little bit of movement if you need that, it's okay to take it. Take one more of those planks now. So take an inhale, start to extend the body, start to flatten the body, bring the hips forward. Try to get the wrists underneath the shoulders, belly engaged. Again, on the chair, your arms are reaching forward. Same engagement in the core. Exhale, release, come back into downward facing dog. Good, if you're in that fold down dog or that chair dog here, you're gonna lift your head up. You're gonna walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Keep your back so that it's kind of flat with the earth. Take an inhale. As you exhale, step your left foot back. Bring your knee down to the earth. If you are, and they, again, that little, um, what, do you, what, I, what I call that, a towel or a blanket, can be underneath your knee. If you're going from the chair, you're just gonna turn to the right side of the chair. You're gonna lower your left knee to the floor. So this is your lunge position. It's the same position either in the chair or on the floor, All right? Our knee is down here knee is up here. So you're in the same position no matter which orientation you're in, we're all facing the same way. The hips are squared forward. Kind of take your tailbone and give it a little tuck under the body. Feel some engagement, and especially into the front of the hip flexor. Bring your shoulders right over your hips. And if you're steady, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Lift your gaze. Good. Good. As you exhale, bring your hands onto the seat and then pull your hips back. And if you can, just move your leg and straighten it just a little bit so the heel comes on the floor. There can be a little hinge here if that feels better. We're going into a deep hamstring stretch. Yes, it's almost like a half split. Nice. Good. Take a couple more breaths. Now lift, take whatever time you need to bring your right foot back to the floor. And then let's extend the arms back up overhead. Any issues with the knee, just go ahead and readjust as you need to. Good, from here, we're gonna take a big X. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm just gonna lower the right hand down next to my side. I'm gonna face you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna lower the right hand down to my side. It might kind of hold on to my side. It might reach a little bit behind me. Take a big inhale as you extend through your left hand and then gently turn and look to your right. bring your hands down to the seat, lift yourself up and bring your foot forward. Good, if you need to take a minute and come up to standing, just make sure you're not dizzy, keep hold the hand on the chair. Just lift yourself up, take a couple breaths. Because we have another side to do, always, we always have another side. It's the rule of the game here, right? All right. So if you're seated, you're just gonna turn your body to the left side of the chair. You're gonna go into that left side lunge. 
So the whole body turns to the left. I'll demonstrate that real quick. Whole body turns to the left. The right knee points down to the chair. We stay nice and tall here and hold on for a moment. If you need a block or something underneath your right knee to support you, please use that. If you are standing, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms to the chair. Flatten the back as you inhale. As you exhale, step your right foot back, lower your right knee down to the earth. Good. As you inhale, bring your shoulders over your hips. Find yourself steady. Make sure there's support under your knee if you need that extra support. Firm the low belly, maybe the little, that, that little tuck to the tailbone. Feel the front of your le right leg. Just kind of activate and hold yourself there. When you're steady, arms reach up. One more breath here. Here's that half split. As you exhale, bring your hands onto the chair. You're gonna shift your hips back just a little bit, so hinging back, and scoot your left leg forward to bring the heel to the floor. Come in as deep as you need to, to feel that sensation, that stretch into the back of the left leg, into the hamstring. You might feel this a bit into your calf, I know I do. Sometimes we all feel this a little bit differently. You might feel this somewhere else. Just notice where you're feeling it. And breathe into that space. Let the breath find its way there. inhale straighten the body come back up and again using whatever time you need to get your left foot back to the floor so the ankle is below the knee find yourself steady again and inhale reach the arms up here's a little revolved twisty kind of pose so take a big inhale as you exhale, lower your left hand. Your left hand comes down, it might touch your hip. It might reach back behind or whatever it might be able to reach. Right hand reaches up to the sky. And we just gently turn and look over our left shoulder. Yes. Inhale, come back to center, arms reach. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the chair. Untuck your toes, tuck your toes under. Press yourself up. Step your right foot forward. Again, taking the time you need to lift yourself up, making sure you don't feel dizzy, there's no head spins, and that we feel steady as we come to standing. Wonderful. You guys did great. Thumbs up, let me know how you're feeling. Awesome, good, beautiful. All right, thought I'd have a little bit of fun today with dancer pose. Oh, uh, yay, right? If you know what dancer pose is, you're gonna say, oh, yay. If you don't know what dancer pose is, you're about to find out. <laughs> All right. So there are ways we can do this to modify our balance. So if you feel like you're gonna have some balancing issues, you can either one, move to a wall, hold on to your chair, or use the seat of your chair instead of trying to hold your leg up. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate what I mean before we actually go into the pose. You can also use the strap for dancer. So dancer pose is, the full pose, is to reach our hand back for, what our, for our foot, ankle, or shin. And we hold ourselves in this position. It opens the front of the shoulder and the chest as well as opening our wonderful quadricep muscles, okay? If that's not available to you, again, holding onto a wall helps. You can take your 
strap and bring it underneath your foot. If you can balance, but you can't reach your foot, that, that is. You can take the strap, you can bend the knee like so. I like to bring my strap up over my shoulder, but again, whatever's available to you is what you'll do. If that still is not available to you, there's actually another option. And that option might be, I'm gonna bring my right knee up on the chair. So when it's on the chair, this chair is a little high for me, so I might actually put it something underneath my left foot. But I might take my hip and just draw it a little bit forward. I can even use a strap here to bend my knee. Right? So there's a lot of different ways for us to get into a balance pose that we don't think we can quite get into. Now that we've said all that, you guys ready? <laughs> all right. So we're going to start by balancing onto the left leg. You're going to balance on your left leg first, which means you're going to bend your right knee. I'm going to turn this in my opposite way just because I like to face you guys. So if you're using a chair or a wall, you're going to kind of face the chair or wall, put your hand directly in front of you or on the chair. I'm going to be sideways. Pull your belly button in. Find your drishti point, that gaze. Look down at the floor. Look at something that's more steady. Soften the right knee and shift your weight into the left leg. Here we go, we're gonna to start to bend the right knee. Strap might be around that foot or ankle. You might be able to reach back for the right foot and hold onto it with the right hand. You might have that right knee on a chair, right? Push you forward. Left foot on the floor. Good. If you feel like you're steady, I'd like you to try to inhale, lift the left hand up. Try to point the fingertips towards the sky. Stay long. Last little bit here. If you're still steady, take your right foot and kind of push it into your right hand. Find some energy there. Beautiful. As you exhale, slowly release your hand down. Release the energy of the foot. Release your foot and let's just bring it down to the floor. A little shake out as we get ready to switch our sides. Yeah. yeah. Nobody fell over. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> All right. It's always good when nobody falls over. All right. So let's kind of find our feet again. Whew. Find that Tadasana, the mountain pose, right? Find your feet. Feel the bottoms of your feet rooting down into the floor. Feel that low belly is nice and firm. Left hand on the chair, on the wall, wherever you need it to be. Soften your left knee. Feel the weight shift into the right leg. Reach your left hand back. Bend your left knee. Strap might be there for you to hold on to. Maybe you can clasp onto the foot or the ankle of the shin. Good. Find your drishti point. Your focus point. Your right knee, your left knee might be on the chair too, right? If you're steady, right hand reaches up to the sky. If you're still steady, you might take your left foot and gently push it into the left hand. And one more breath, see if you can hold it. Gently release, bring your hand down, release your foot, and bring your foot to the floor. Shake out your legs. Yay! You guys all deserve a round of applause. That was amazing. Good job. All right. And see, I actually have my computer today so I can see all of your faces. I see what you're doing, which is even better. All right, I'm going to move my chair off to the side. We are going to come down to our final postures. We're gonna come down to seated on the floor today if you would like. Um, if you still need to stay in the chair instead of the floor, it's okay. Go ahead and have a seat and you're, you're staying in your chair. Have a seat in your chair. I'm just gonna plop myself down on the floor. You're gonna come down to whatever degree onto the floor that's best for you and for your body. Strap might be available if you need it. Block might be available if you need it. You can also sit up on that towel or that blanket that helps to lift the hips. It helps us into our, some of our seated postures. 
I'm just gonna take a moment, wait for you guys to all sit. I'm gonna take another sip of my drink here. Good. So whether you're seated on the floor or seated in a chair, your legs are extended out in front of you. We're gonna take Dandasana first. This is the staff pose. Really great for that back engagement. Hands come down next to our hips. Lift your shoulders. Pull your shoulders back behind you and then feel your shoulder blades slide down the back as you press your hands down into the floor. Depending on how long your arms are, your elbows may be bent, mine are straight because they're the perfect uh, size of my body. Take your toes and your knees, pointing them up toward the ceilings. Engage your legs, so pull your quadriceps back towards you. Your belly is firm. Last thing here, take your gaze, look down at your heart. So remember that little tuck of the chin that we did before? Same tuck of chin, but this time we're taking our, our gaze down to the heart. We're lengthening the back of the cervical column. We're nice and straight. We're fighting stooped posture here by engaging those upper back muscles. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Seated forward fold, inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, slowly walk your hands forward. If you'd like a strap around your feet here, you can do so. Try to keep your back straight. Don't let your body slump forward. Slump, I like that word. Good, inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, maybe you can come down a little bit deeper. Now you might feel this forward fold in your low back and your hips and the backs of your legs. Try not to let your feet drop out to the sides. Keep your feet active, keep the legs active. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Inhale, come back up to center. Take your right knee and pull it in towards your chest. Even if you're on the chair, you're gonna bend your right knee and we let our right knee gently fall out to the side. If you're on a chair, your right foot can actually rest up on a block. That's okay. If you're on the floor, if you feel like your knee is just kind of hanging out and it needs a little bit of support, put something under it to support it. Right? That little one put my block right underneath my knee. It helps to support the leg. As you inhale again, extend and lift up nice and tall. As you exhale, again, we gently walk forward. We come into that nice lengthening into the back of the leg. We might feel some stretch into the leg that's bent, the inside of that leg. Notice what you're feeling. And again, we're trying to keep our back long. Breathing deeply in, breathing deeply out. This isn't supposed to be the next song. I wonder what happened to my next song. Hmm. Good, one more breath. Good. From here, inhale, start to rise. Bring your right foot to the floor. So listen carefully here. We're gonna take a couple different variations. If this is right for you to keep your right foot on the floor right in front of your hip, by all means, please stay here. If you're on the chair, I'd prefer you to have your foot just resting on the floor with the right knee bent. If it's available to you, you're gonna lift the right foot up, cross it over the left knee. That foot, that right foot should be able to come in contact with the floor. So if you're kind of like tilted and the foot's not resting on the floor, just bring your foot back here, it's okay. All right, lots of different ways here. If you're having a, if you've had hip replacement, especially and you're seated, do not cross your legs, please. <laughs> All right. Let's take an inhale here, lift the right hand up. 
as you exhale, let's bring the right hand behind the back. Take your left hand or your left arm and hug or cross over to your knee. Sit up nice and tall. Take your gaze over the right shoulder. Beautiful. Breathe in fully and completely. Breathe out, let it go. As you inhale, come back through center, uncross your right leg and let the right leg straighten back out. Toes and knees again, pointing up. We've got another side to do. Bend your left knee. Left knee is gonna gently drop out to the side. Again, if you're um, on the floor, that left foot can come against the leg. You can put that block right underneath your knee. If you're seated in the chair, we're just letting the left leg drop out. Right leg is still forward. Inhale again for length, reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. It's also okay to have a strap around that foot, the left foot, right foot rather, the right foot to reach over the leg. Might be more steadying for you, please use that. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. Surrender to the exhale, surrender to the moment. Good. As you inhale, start to rise. Bringing the left foot to the floor. Here we go. That cross again. If you can cross, we're going to cross. Left foot comes up, crosses over the right knee. Left foot should be on the floor for stability. If you're on the chair, we're just keeping the foot on the floor, right? Good. Inhale, sweep the left hand up. Exhale, the left hand reaches behind the back. Let your arm support your back. Right arm hugs our knee, crosses over the knee, and we turn and look to the left. Try to keep the spine long. Sometimes when I'm in these twisted positions, especially in seated, I kind of imagine myself being a spiral staircase. The center of my spine is the center of the staircase and my body moving around the spine is the stairs. It's a visual that sometimes can help that feeling. Find the surrender, find the breath. Inhale, start to unwind, uncross your left knee, let the left extend. Hug your knees in. Good. On the floor, go ahead and roll yourself down onto your back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself that little squeeze, that little hug. I'm gonna come up to seated from here. But please stay on the floor. You'll be doing the same exact thing just from the floor. Bring your feet flat to the floor. Your feet should be about hip width distance apart. If you're in the chair, feet slightly in front of your knees. Shoulders are on the back of the chair. Hips are forward. If you are on the chair, your ankles are below, or I'm sorry, on the floor, your ankles are below your knees. Your hands are tight down along the side body. We're gonna do bridge. Pull the belly button in and tuck the tailbone. Right, so for those of you in the chair tucking the tailbone and staying in this position might be the best for you. If you're on the floor, inhale, lift your hips up. Maybe bind the hands below the back, rocking your shoulders together. If you're in the chair and you want to try to lift, the knees come forward over the ankles. And then we inhale, we lift our hips up away from the chair. Don't push back into the chair trying to knock it over. All four legs should stay on the floor. 
Find your breath. And be steady. As you exhale, slowly lower the hips. Bring yourself down. If you're on the floor, hug your knees in. If you're in the chair, wrap your arms around your legs. Let your back round and gently rock. If you're on the earth, open up your arms to a T. If you're seated, come up nice and tall. Walk your feet to the right side of the chair. If you're on the floor, take an inhale. As you exhale, lower your knees to your left and then turn your head to the right. From the chair, turn to the back of the chair and just gently glance to the right. Now another little spinal rotation occurring. As you inhale, come back to the center. So everybody's turning whatever center is for their body right now, whatever orientation they're in. As you exhale, you're going to go the other way. So if you're on the floor, the knees fall left, right. You look to your left. You're in the chair. You're walking your knees all the way to the left side of the chair, staying tall, turning to the back. As you inhale, come back to center. Good. Start to make your way with one last hug, one last squeeze of your legs, of your body, whatever you might need to make your way into your Shavasana. Whatever your Shavasana might be for you and your body today or whatever feels right, whatever feels best. Whether it's sitting in the chair, releasing, whether it's laying on your back with the legs spread out in front of you, arms on the side. Maybe it's your knees bent. Allowing your hips and your back to be a little bit more neutral because that's more comfortable for you. I'm just going to sit and watch everybody. Once you've made your way into your Shavasana, take a deep, full breath in through your nose. As you exhale, let it go out through your mouth with a big sigh. Allow yourself to surrender into the space, the space of stillness, the space of ease. Find some comfort here in your body and your breath. Take rest.
Notice the silence. Notice the stillness from within. Notice how you feel. Notice the effects of your practice. Notice your breath, the gentleness, the calmness, the ease at which it moves. Feel it naturally deepen as your body, your mind begin to awaken. Bringing some movement into your fingers, movement into your toes, Maybe there's a little circling of the ankles and circling of the wrists. Maybe there's a gentle nodding of the head, back and forth, maybe even up and down. Bring your legs together, reach your arms up overhead, taking a big finger to toe stretch. Just really reach that body like you're saying good morning to yourself. Take one full deep breath in. Exhale, let it go, big sigh. <sighs> if you're on the earth, hug your knees in towards your chest. Gently make your way up to seated, so whatever seated might be for you. And being careful getting there, trying to stay in this ease in this moment. And once you're there, bringing your hands to the heart center. Just wanted to say that as always, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to sub these classes and to be here for this community. I so enjoy seeing all of you, being with all of you, whether it's virtually or in person. Mm. Om Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May all beings be happy and free. May we all be together in peace. Thank you for your practice. Namaste. Great job. Thank you, you guys. Have a great weekend. You have a wonderful weekend too. Thank you. Robin, How did I get that spot in your back at all today? I hope I did. Namaste. Honestly, it's still there. I, uh -huh. I think I've done a number on it somehow. Okay, just, you know, work on actually that thread the needle pose might yeah. actually be really good for you. Okay, I'll try some of that today too. Yeah. Hi, Deb. Thank I like you. the music. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. How's Rick today? Doing pretty well. Good. We've been, we've sold our house and moved. Where did you move to? Chelsea, Silver Maples in Chelsea. Oh, wow. Okay. Retirement community. Nice. How do you like it so far? Well, we've only been here about four days actually sleeping, so we're okay, still well, fine. It's four days is good. <laughs> still new. <laughs> still very new. Well, congratulations on your move. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Good class, Deb. Have a good weekend. Thank you, John. You do the same. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Thank Bye you, everybody. Deb. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye.